Okay, so, man, I just came back from an hour at the gym, and man, am I tired. Whew, I'm gonna do that again tomorrow, and the next day, and six days a week, I'm gonna go to the gym, except guess what? That is going to reverse your results, because uh, muscles are torn in the gym, fed at the dinner, to, at the table, and built in bed, in sleeping. When you sleep is when your liver builds your muscle. So, and more muscle burns more fat on your body. Most of us want to have more muscle and lose more fat. Everybody does, everybody. However, if you go to the gym six days a week, you are preventing yourself from doing that because by working heavy, working harder in the time you're there, in the short time you're there, uh, your metabolism changes. And don't believe me, but here's, here's the, um, the conspiracy theory uh, part. If you don't, if you you know don't want to believe me, <laughs> working out at the gym, it's the gym people telling you you need to be here six days a week if you want to get results, and then you only go a little bit. You go, oh no, I feel so guilty. So you don't go. They make money on you not going to the gym. Do you understand that? So by telling you you have to be there six days a week, knowing you're never going to do that, but you keep your your membership, then they make money on you not using it. So instead, as I mentioned in Half-Ass Health, go three times a week. That is it, but work hard when you're there for a half an hour. Half an hour, not much more. And in Half-Ass Health, I tell you the exercises you need. There's really only four-ish. I go between four and eight, depending on how advanced you want to be. But there is not much more that you need than that. So it's exertion versus time. So if you're in there for hours at a time, you're diminishing your results. You're actually working against your own results. <sighs> it's frustrating to say because people don't believe me. They're like, oh, I started going to the gym three times a week, but I wanted to get better results, so I started going five. And, you know, I know you say to sprint for like, you know, minute on, minute off, about five, six minutes, you know, seven total, but I decided to run for 30 minutes instead. And I'm jogging for 30 minutes, and it's the wrong thing to do. It's the backwards thing. It's anything is better than sitting on the couch. But why would you run for 30 minutes if you can run for six and get better results with the six than you do with the 30? So please ask anybody, you know what, ask somebody who is not a trainer and wants to and wants you to um, work with them. Because obviously you wouldn't get a trainer for six minutes. You know, you get one for a half an hour, for an hour, and they kill you. You know, I have another video called The Trainer's Dilemma around somewhere. Look for that. I kind of go into that further. But um, there you go. You don't need to be there for hours and six days a week. Stop it. You're ruining your results. Okay.